Hey, man, listen. I got told the D-line. It's a f***ing opportunity to be out here, man. Don't take a f***ing snap for granted. Let's go. Gang on me, gang on three. One, two, three. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten, he wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold, and the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. For those of you that have been watching me know I think the Las Vegas Raiders should replace Jermaine Luminor at right tackle with Thayer Munford. I like Luminor though. He's the most valuable of all the Las Vegas Raiders offensive linemen outside of Colton Miller. His ability to play anywhere on the offensive line except for center makes Luminor that. He's just more of a natural guard than a tackle. At 6'4", 330 pounds, he's a huge man and strong as a bull. However, he has short arms for a tackle and doesn't quite have those dancing bear feet you need to be a great tackle. Yes, you can make up for a lot with good technique, but when you have physical shortcomings like that, you have very little margin for error. That's why he does well against average edge rushers and not so well against your better edge rushers. Those guys have length, hand usage, speed, ability to convert speed to power, or a combination of those traits. It is such edge rushers that are able to exploit Illuminor's shortcomings. That's why I believe the Raiders should move Illuminor to guard and put Mumford in at right tackle. It would improve the run blocking and pass protection. As you know, Illuminor faced Khalil Mack in week 4 and Mack gave him all kinds of problems. Here he's gonna get him with speed. Here he gets him with his hands. And here he puts himself in position to bat the ball down by converting speed to power. Now we go back to week 3 when he saw J.J. Watt. Here he gets him with the little hand usage and some bend. Man, he had no chance on this one. You can see last year that Illuminor couldn't handle Mac. Or his teammate opposite edge rusher Joey Bosa. Mac has a complete package while Bosa has the length and hand usage. Here New England Patriots edge rusher John Uche is going to kill him with his length. Here, J.J. Watt's going to make short work of him with his length. It's not fair when he can touch you before you can touch him. And here, Marcus Golden is going to convert speed to power on him. If Illuminor is the right tackle on Monday night, he's going to see Rashawn Gary, who has a combination of it all. He's 6'4", 277 pounds. Runs a 45840 and has 34 inch long arms. And the Green Bay Packers leading sacker is coming into his own. There's a length and power right there. He was gonna keep the tackle off him with his length again. Here he's gonna convert speed to power and overpower his man. We have speed off the edge and a little hand usage. Gary's starting to become what we want Tyree Wilson to become. 
Here he's going to force an incompletion with his relentlessness. A trait I didn't mention before. Oh yeah, he's going to get after it and stay after it on this one too. Here he's going to take on the guard and get his. Ooh, he's going to play with his hands on this one. Here we got a push pull. He's going to get a little help from his teammate here, but his speed was a factor. Mumford has the length and athleticism to deal with Gary. His first career start didn't start out pretty, though. It wasn't pretty at first for a Luminor guard either. But overall, it was the best I've seen this offensive line look. The then rated quarterback Daryl Carr was only sacked once and threw four for 300 yards, and running back Josh Jacobs averaged 5.1 yards per carry. Here you're going to see good protection on that right side. Here they're going to give him all the time in the world to throw D. Here Mumford's going to push his man past the quarterback. Here he's going to do that and land on him. Now for the running lanes that opened. Running on the right side was good for the Raiders. Jacobs had the freedom to choose where he wanted to go. Look at the room he gets from the Luminor and Munford here. I haven't seen a hole like that this year. Moving Illuminor to guard would make Dylan Parham the odd man out. And he's actually a pretty good pass blocker. He's good at redirecting or changing direction. So any move you make, he's going to meet you there and wall it off. He was going to do a good job of picking up the stun. He was going to pick up the stun again and abuse the man coming around on it. But when he's messing with those big strong guys, he's too light to fight and too thin to win. And that's a part of why he's horrible run blocking. He often gets tossed out of the way. This is horrible right here. Plays like this for why Jacobs isn't really getting anywhere so far this year. There's no push on his side whatsoever. The running game would definitely benefit from moving Illuminor to guard.
As you've seen, Illuminor has problems with certain types of guys. He just doesn't do well against guys with good length, good hands, speed, or the ability to convert speed to power. He gets exposed every time he plays against guys like that. That's why he needs to move back inside the guard. He should do it ASAP too, because next is Gary, who has all of the above. Mumford's a better pass blocker that has better feet and 35 and a half inch long arms. But Luminor is huge, strong, and a good run blocker, so putting him back inside would be a big help to the Raider rushing attack. Brum's a pretty good pass blocker, but offers little to nothing to the running game, so the move would make the Raider offensive line better overall. Thank you for watching. See you next time.